September 12th marked one year since Blue Origin's New Shepard encountered an incident that led to the failure of its unmanned suborbital flight. That was New Shepard's long period of hibernation after its forgettable injury. Failure in that mission not only affected it and its future schedules, but also dealt a painful blow to Blue Origin's small pride. Meanwhile, their opponents are accelerating strongly. Recently, there have been signs from Blue Origin showing that New Shepard's preparing to return. The attention paid to it's gradually increased because what was received from this project before was very few. So what's happened to New Shepard over the past year? Can it really come back so soon? Stay tuned as we dive into this and lots more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Let's go back to more than a year ago. On September 12, 2022 at 1027, the unmanned New Shepard Flight 23 lifted off from Blue Origin Launch Site 1 in West Texas. Everything went normal for the first minute of the flight, but then the BE-3 engine used in the booster had a problem. The airflow changed, and the vehicle then seemed to deviate from the vertical. At time T plus 105, the escape engine on the capsule activated, separating it from the booster. The booster then crashed hard into the desert area and was destroyed, and the capsule landed by parachute in an area near the launch site. The altitude reached by this flight is 11.4 kilometers. After that failure, investigations were conducted to analyze the cause of the incident. In March, Blue Origin announced the cause. They said the cause lies in the engine. The engine nozzle was damaged due to excessive heat, leading to deviation of thrust as mentioned above. Blue Origin then made improvements to prevent the problems from happening again. They changed the design of the engine's combustion chamber, adjusted some engine operating parameters, and reduced engine nozzle bulk and hot streak temperatures. Along with the revelations about the cause, Blue Origin also said they'll conduct new flights soon, but the specific times have not yet been determined. Last June, in an interview at the Financial Times event, Blue Origin CEO Bob Smith once again said the company would resume New Shepard launches, and they were waiting for approval from the FAA. However, there's been no progress since then. It's been said that failure as well as continuous delays have caused great impacts on the New Shepard project in particular and Blue Origin in general. The first impact is on facilities. Since 2016, after Booster 1 and 2 were no longer operational, Blue Origin only had two boosters responsible for launching New Shepard flights. However, Booster 3 was destroyed during the NS-23 mission as mentioned above. Therefore, Blue Origin now only has Booster 4 to carry out the next missions. This will be a huge challenge for Blue Origin. A booster is certainly difficult to cover many missions in the future. That means they'll have to produce new boosters soon to share the work with Booster 4. Next, they'll have to deal with new competition due to delays. The failure caused Blue Origin to greatly delay its missions. It took them six months to analyze the cause of the NS-23 failure. And now, a year later, no mission has been carried out. Remember, NS-23 is an unmanned mission. New Shepard's last manned mission was from August of last year. Suborbital manned missions are what make New Shepard's brand. With the problem and delays in operating schedules, New Shepard's market will be vacant. This will be an opportunity for their competitors to jump in and usurp their market share. Last but not least, reputation and reliability are important factors that will be affected. As mentioned, launching suborbital vehicles is one of Blue Origin's strengths. The number of customers booking their flights is relatively large. Delays will definitely make them feel disappointed. Moreover, the failure has caused New Shepard to receive many doubts about its safety. If they lose reputation and trust, they'll face many difficulties when implementing other projects in the future. Perhaps aware of that situation, Blue Origin's planning for the subsequent New Shepard mission. They seem to be planning the next unmanned flight for later this year, possibly in October, more than a year after their last flight. In addition, they also planned a manned flight with New Shepard, expected to take place around February of next year, which will be about a year and a half since the last manned flight took place on August 4th of 2022. These moves are extremely understandable. While Blue Origin and their New Shepard plan have been delayed for the past year, we've witnessed their major competitors take some pretty strong steps. First is Virgin Galactic, which has been relatively quiet since 2021, but this year they've been making moves. Specifically, from May until now, they've carried out four crewed missions on their VSS Unity aircraft. Virgin Galactic's strong comeback will affect Blue Origin, as it'll compete directly with Blue Origin in the field of launching suborbital commercial flights. Virgin Galactic President Mike Moses recently said that the company will continue crewed missions with VSS Unity. 
Thus, they'll compete very fiercely with Blue Origin in the near future. What about Blue Origin's biggest competitor, SpaceX? Unlike Virgin Galactic, SpaceX's activities take place continuously. On September 12th, one year after New Shepard's failure, SpaceX launched its 61st Falcon 9 mission, breaking the record of 60 flights that it had set the year previous. This has helped their Falcon 9 continue to maintain its position as the orbital vehicle was launched the most in a year. And remember, it's only September. There are also three months for Falcon 9 to continue increasing its record, of which three Dragon launch flights have been carried out, including two NASA missions and one Axiom mission. As for Starship, after the first orbital test flight on April 20th, upgrades took place very quickly. To date, the second orbital test flight will probably be launched soon. All preparations done, just waiting for the FAA approval. Besides, SpaceX has just tested the Raptor engine for the HLS Starship, and that's an important step for them for the human landing on the moon mission that'll take place in 2025. Because of the rapid progress of their competitors, this will be a very important time for New Shepard in particular and Blue Origin in general. There will be challenges for Bezos and his associates. The current task is not to only restabilize New Shepard, but to also regain the reputation and trust of customers. And that's not an easy task. A reputation can take 5, 10, 15 years or even more to build, but it can all be gone with just one mistake. There's only half a month until October. The time New Shepard may come back, according to some sources, and that's not much time for them. They need to wake up their New Shepard as soon as possible to keep their long-time market and regain their pride. Success will be the motivation for them to continue moving forward, but if they fail, everything's going to be a disaster, and a domino effect will follow. Besides New Shepard, Blue Origin needs to accelerate other projects like New Glenn. The coming time will be extremely important for New Glenn, as it will participate in many large projects. That's Amazon's project Kuiper, and in particular, also part of NASA's Artemis plans. SpaceX has made significant steps. Therefore, Blue Origin has to take new steps if it doesn't want to be eliminated in the game. 2023 can be said to be the year when space races become extremely dramatic. Next year, 2024, is predicted to be even more fierce. Compared to their competitors, especially SpaceX, Blue Origin is already far behind. Beat SpaceX, that's probably just the thoughts of the most optimistic people. Right now, Blue Origin has to fight to protect their new shepherd from the threats of their rivals to continue to maintain their trump card, New Glenn. Yeah, there's only one option for Blue Origin, fight to survive. What do you think about the past year in New Shepard and Blue Origin? Do you think they'll be back? Please leave your opinion in the comments section below. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you to watch. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.